one of England's captains, the only player to score a try in a World Cup final, one of the most successful during that period, came from one of the most deprived areas in the country. Now, if I did that, how many more kids, like given some nurture, given an opportunity, could then go on to do something like me? I grew up in probably four, four or five of the most deprived areas in Leeds. I never knew my father growing up. My mum's white, Scottish. I have two older brothers that are white. So I missed out on what I should be as a black man. I knew my mum loved me. You know, she'd work in three jobs. She'd do anything for me and protect me. But one of the main sort of father figure role models that I had wasn't very good. How do you process seeing your mum being beaten up? I think that's one of the reasons why rugby was good for me. It's really what kept me going. I left school with no qualifications and then all of a sudden I've become a professional sportsman. You know, Wigan, what an environment for me to learn. I signed a million pound contract in uh, 1995. You know, I was out, you know, drinking quite a lot and I was actually quite lonely. On the field, I was killing it. Off the field, I was in a mess. Nobody taught me how to deal with it, how to deal with the fame. You know, what do you do when you've not been guided in certain things? How to have money, how to have fame, how to be a father. I don't know, I was lost, confused. I can remember sat and just thinking, oh, that's it. I, d I can't live another day, I, I just don't want to go on. Baigatri Gamala, Polo Perellini, they helped me massively and, and, and I started to rebuild. Randomly out the blue and a guy called Clive Woodward called, you know, he sold me this dream. England playing a World Cup in 2003. I just thought, now's the time for a change. Three months later, all of a sudden I got my chance and I could hear them saying, get him on, get him on. And I probably only got two, two touches, but there's something about it that, I don't know, I thought this is something that I, I want to try and conquer. I worked exceptionally hard that a lot of people didn't see behind the scenes. I realised actually now it's not about fitting in, it's about standing out. Lions, I'm winning the Premiership, the first black men's 15 captain, three World Cup finals. But to win one, it was just the most amazing experience I've ever had on the rugby field. All those moments that I thought I'd, I'd never be good enough. I was good enough. I always was good enough. 